Hi everyone, Noel Chazen here and welcome back to my YouTube channel Basic Speech Practice and Knowledge Listening. So, how are you? I am hoping that you all are fine and staying safe at home. So now, I am about to present a speech on air pollution. At first, let's see the definition of air pollution. What is air pollution? Air pollution is a contamination of the air due to the presence of substances in the atmosphere that are harmful to the health of humans and other living beings and causes damage to the climate. Atmosphere means it is the whole mass of air that surrounds the earth. There are two most prevalent types of air pollution. They are smog and soot. Smog or sometimes known as ground level ozone is an air pollution that reduces visibility. It occurs when the emissions from combusting fossil fuel reacts with the sunlight. Emissions means the production and discharge of something, especially a gas or a radiation. Soots are the microscopic particles of solid or liquid matter that are suspended in the air. The under the name of soot is a particulate matter. They are made from tiny particles of chemicals, soil, smoke, allergens or dust in the form of either gas or solids that are carried in the air. So now let's talk some of the general facts about air pollution. Number, number one, do you know the country with the highest air pollution rate in the world? According to IQ Air, the country with the highest air pollution rate is one of the Asian countries called Bangladesh with an average AQI or air quality index of 162. Number two, at least one in 10 people die from air pollution related diseases. Number three, according to the World Health Organization, air pollution kills 7 million people every year and 4 million of them dies from indoor air pollution. Number four, air pollution kills most people in Africa than childhood malnutrition or poor sanitation. Number five, according to the Earthbound report, 90% of people or 6.9 billion people breathe polluted air every day in the world. Number six, inhaling air pollution takes away at least one to two years of a typical human life. Number seven, Producing heavy crude oil increases the chances of air pollution by 40% than producing light crude oil. Heavy crude oil means it's a highly vicious oil that cannot easily flow from production wells under normal reservoir conditions. It is referred as heavy because its density is higher than that of light crude oil. Light crude oil is a liquid petroleum that has low density and flows freely at the room temperature. Number eight, 70 percentage of the air pollution caused in Chinese cities is caused due to tailpipes. Tailpipes means it's the rear section of the silencer or exhaust pipe of a motor vehicle. Number nine, 300,000 people in China dies every year due to heart disease and lung cancer caused by air pollution. Number 10, in 1952, the Great Smoke of London killed 8,000 people. Number 11. According to the Lancet Journal, air pollution caused by waiting in traffic increases the chances of death due to heart attack. Number 12. 80% of lung diseases is caused due to the pollution from other cars, trucks, buses and vehicles. Number 13. Air pollution that causes smoke affects dolphins and makes them suffer from black lung diseases. Number 14. Deaths caused by air pollution costs the European Union 161 billion euros every year. According to the World Health Organization, deaths caused by air pollution costs the European Union this much money because of health-related external costs. Number 15. Outdoor air pollution ranks among the top 10 killers on the earth. 
So now let's discuss some causes of air pollution. Here I would like to mention five causes of air pollution. Number one, the burning of fossil fuels. Sulfur dioxide emitted from the burning of fossil fuels such as coal, petroleum and similar factory combustibles is one of the major causes of air pollution. Number two, emissions from factories and industries. Manufacturing factories and industries release a massive amount of carbon monoxide, organic compounds, hydrocarbons and chemicals into the atmosphere. This increases health and environmental damages and causes damage to the quality of the air. Number three, agricultural activities. Ammonia is one of the most common byproducts of agricultural activities. It is also one of the most toxic gases in the atmosphere. Furthermore, the use of insecticides, pesticides and fertilizers has increased a lot in agricultural based activities. These release harmful chemicals into the air and lead to both air and water pollution. No, uh, sorry, number four, wildfires. Wildfires causes increased PM 2.5 or fine particulate matter in the air which collides with other harmful substances like chemical gas and pollen creating smoke. Smoke makes the air hazy and people find it difficult to breathe. Number five, transportation. Vehicle pollution is the major contributor to air pollution, especially in urban cities. When the car burns gasoline, it emits pollutants which is as harmful as smoking 10 cigarettes a day. A vehicle emits carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxide and particulate matter. Now let's talk some effects of air pollution. Here I will be speaking out five effects of air pollution. Number one, respiratory and heart problems. Air pollution creates several respiratory and heart conditions like asthma, chronic bronchitis, heart attack and strokes along with cancer among other threats to the body. Several million are known to have died due to the direct or indirect effects of air pollution. Number two, child health problems. Air pollution is harming our health even before we take our first breath. Exposure to high air pollution, sorry, exposure to high air pollution levels during pregnancy causes miscarriages as well as asthma, autism, premature birth and spectrum disorder in young children. Number three, global warming is another effect of air pollution. Air pollution directly accelerates the rate of uh, at which Global warming happens by depleting the ozone layer. Global warming refers to the increased temperatures Earth continues to experience. These higher temperatures lead to melting of the polar ice caps and icebergs which elevates sea levels and creates concern for the human race. Number 4. Wildlife Endangerment Air pollution creates the same issues that humans have to the wildlife. Animals will be having the same diseases and conditions that human will have. Heavily polluted areas force inhabitants to seek new homes, which can negatively impact the ecosystem. Number five, acid rain. When the air pollution, specifically sulfur dioxide, uh, sorry. Sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides are released into the sky through fossil fuel burning. It creates the phenomenon known as acid rain. Acid rain has been known to cause harm to humans and animals alike and even causes damage to crops. Now finally, let's talk some solutions of air pollution. Here I will mention five solutions of air pollution. Number one burn less coal. Pollution from burning all fossil fuels is harmful to the atmosphere, but burning coal has a larger impact on air pollution than burning of oil or gas because it releases more carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and heavy metal pollutants per unit of energy. Also, over one third of the electricity produced in the world 
comes from burning the coal. Number two, reduce the impact of cars. Cars and vehicles creates exhaust full of carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and other pollutants. Driving less in favor of public transportation, biking, or walking helps decrease air pollution. Also, using cars with increased fuel efficiency, hybrid or electric cars that do not rely on fossil fuels can decrease the amount of pollution we are contributing to the atmosphere. Number three, conserve energy. We should switch off fans and lights when we are going out. A large number of fossil fuels are burnt to produce electricity. We can save the environment from degradation by reducing the number of fossil fuels to be burned. Number four, use energy efficient devices. For example, CFL lights or compact fluorescent lamps and many other energy efficient devices like front-loading washing machines, consumes less electricity than their counterparts. They live longer, consumes less electricity, lead to lower uh, sorry, lead to lower electricity bills, and also helps us to reduce air pollution by consuming less electricity or less energy. Number five, use water-based paints and cleaners. Chemical-based paints and cleaning products have uh, volatile organic compounds that contaminate the air. Switching to water-based products helps reduce air pollution and limit the need for oil products. That's it for today's informative speech. Sorry for taking the speech for a little long time. And uh, thank you so much for staying this much time for me to listen my informative speech. If you like my speech, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and remember to turn on the bell icon to receive my upcoming speech notifications. Once again, thank you so much to all and see you all again next week with another informative speech.